Welcome back to the Brennick Channel. Today we are talking about Yellowstone and scientists say that something's leaking from Yellowstone. More to come. Stick around. And we welcome you back to the Brennick Channel as scientists are talking about something leaking out of Yellowstone and there's also been a geyser that has made history so we will get started with saying that the geyser that made history is steamboat geyser and although it was a historic eruption as it erupted for the 30th time this year it was also one that only lasted for 17 minutes which the last time it erupted before that was almost an hour and a half at an hour and 29 minutes it's been three days nine hours and 20 minutes as of this video since the last time it erupted that was July 18th 2019 definitely been active this year as this footage here was from the last eruption so Jacob Lone Stern from the USGS is the head scientist of Yellowstone National Park his team was totally surprised to find out that there was 60 tons of helium leaking from the volcano every year. And what tipped them off was they found five bisons dead there. And they were curled up in the cat position. And they were wondering why. So they started doing some research and testing and that they found this helium floor coming out of stores in Yellowstone. Now, I wouldn't want to be out there if that happened. I know it's a beautiful place and all, but what's the chances of someone like you or me going out there and that thing just abruptly just le start leaking out and you get hurt? Now, I've never been there, but I've been intrigued and almost went there one year. I'm disappointed I didn't get a go, but things happen, you know. So, anyway. Long story short, you're out there visiting, having a good time, and then what happens? This helium starts leaking, and, you know, you'd be just like those bison, just end up dead from lack of oxygen and kill you, suffocate you. It would definitely be the worst day of your life, because it'd be the last day of your life. So, that's about all I have for Yellowstone this week, and I'll probably be back next Sunday with a few more stories about Yellowstone. Please like and subscribe as always and God bless everybody and thank you for watching the Burning Channel. Much love, peace. See you next time.